I like to explain before I show the next technique something very important. In my career, in my experience for the last 30 years of Jiu Jitsu, I like to explain like it's not the quantity of techniques I'm going to show in this tape, but be sure you, the techniques I teach in this tape, you memorize well, practice, try flow the techniques in training, and be sure when you train with your opponent, these techniques flow okay. Because you learn thousand techniques, you're going to go training, the techniques not working, it don't make sense you learn all these thousand techniques. Okay? Be sure you remember that. Sometimes one technique can help you to be in a match or self-defense techniques. That's why it's very important you get all the details. Sometimes I think I talk too much, but I think the reason I talk too much because I want you to see all the points, you know what I mean, to help that techniques get very easy to apply, okay? The next techniques I'm gonna teach here is gonna be very simple, but it's very effective, okay? It's a good technique you can do a lot if we gi, without gi. Okay, one thing over here, when somebody put the weights over here on my chest, you know what I mean? I'm gonna put the hands inside here, gonna try to open his arm. As soon as I hope, I come right here. Okay, when he, move a little bit, Renato, for sure. When they grab over here, I don't keep my elbow too close over here. I wanna be sure his arm is away here. The reason why, because I wanna move the hip, and I want to come right here, you see? When I come right here, I'm in a very comfortable position to try to reach here. The key is how I lock over here. Now, my goal is to come back here. When I come back here, and I put the weight on top of me, you see, I don't have much angle here. I'm going to struggle here, but Renato is very strong. It's going to be very hard. But you see this leg over here? That leg is going to help to move my hip this side. More I move my hip, less weight of Renato is going to have on top of me. Over here, this leg from here, I go to his back over here. If I have a chance to cross or to put over here, he's going to be, his body is going to be stuck. But look here. My goal right now is to finish here. My goal is to put this hand right behind his back. But a lot of times over here, I stretch over here and come back over here. Both is going to create an angle here. You're here going to be able to finish. Okay? Let's drill. Okay, I want you guys to do this drill here. One, two. Do you see the arm straight? Move a little bit the hip. Right? See. The same time, you see, remember, move the hip, bring the arm up, bring the arm back. Here. Okay? Be careful for do this drill. For the over stretch. Your, in case the arms are right here, great. You only have to do stretch your arm. You see, in case you want to sit up here, not much in. Move the hip and sit. You see how quick I sit up? Grab, move, bend the arm. Or come back up and come back down. Or even try bug him over here. Yeah, you see, his arm is already there. You see? Remember, your arm straight. For create a space for you to sit up. I put my feet and try to sit up here, not much leverage. But look the different here. When I move the hip here, how quick I'm going to be here. Now I show a lock on. Oh, oh. Move the hip. Come right here. Bend the arm. You go for the finish here. Okay? Oh, you see his arm over here? Stretch up. Move the hip. Sit up. When I sit up, oh. right over there. See ya. Here. Now look. Slide here. See? His arm here. Now look this leg here. Stretch my body, move my hip out. Now you see her next weight going that other side. That's what's important here. See? Go up, go back. Okay, good. Okay, let's do the same setup, but going for a different finish. In Brazil, we call the homoplata. Homoplata means when you twist here, you look like you force your shoulders to pop out. They hurt the collarbone, okay? Okay, that's the, how you call it in Brazil, the omoplata. That's the name of this bone over here, okay? The omoplata, we're gonna do here, Renato, between my guard, is the same setup, but here, when you come here, hold both arms here, or block over here, or one knee come here, now this knee, 
he is going to block his arm over here. Now look over here. The key over here is, is, is how well I move my body. You see how I move over here? Now this leg is going to swing all the way here. See? One more time. Come over here. Swing it here. When you swing here, I want to be sure his wrist is this side here. For have a chance to have a good lock. This arm is going to hold him over here. I have a good control now. Go for the finish. To go for the finish, I'm in a seated position. I want to put his shoulder close to the ground. I'm going to start leaning my body and control. You see how I control that and start putting the pressure over his arm over here. Help to rotate his arm. See? Okay, one more time. Let me show you here now by myself the, the movement. Excuse me, second. Move this way. Look here, how I move over here, don't apply. First I get this in. Now I'm gonna swing my leg this way here. And here I go for a seated position. Again this side. See, first move, seated position. That's base, the movement. You're gonna set up for the omoplata because it's very important. The biomechanic, because I can show you the technique for a lot of people to know how to move the body. It's, it's very important to do this drill by yourself. Or when you have the chance, look, move, set him up. You see, when you move your body well, how easy you set him up. Now, tie, go for the finish here. Okay, the other side. Okay, remember, same setup. You even can combine here. You know what I mean? Or move here. See, how you set up here, the more plat. Remember, block his head. For the, another way, he's gonna roll him out. That's happened. In case that happens, you still have a chance to go on top of him. Okay, but your goal is not let him roll. Okay, again. One more time. Not to. You see? I set him up right there. Okay. Over here. Over here, lock. The other side. The, I love this drill. Here, up, whoop. Come right here. You can play and do this drill. I want to show you here a drill, how I like to drill. Because most of the, the way my philosophy is like when they drill the techniques, I like to get all the details possible. But it's very important when they drill you, for me and for my students, is to bring real close to what is going to happen in the fight. If less I stop moving, better for me to do the drill. Because I want to teach my body to do by himself. Because lot, many times, with my experience, you don't have time to think. You want to reflect, use your reflex to apply the counters and the techniques. In the way you're going to get that by teach your body how to get this reflex. Yeah, I like to show you this drill where I like to use the warm up, I like to use to get speed, to get explosion. It's a very good for you, you build up your endurance, okay? In any person, any level can apply, can do this drill. Yeah, I like to show here, use Renat. Renat, lay down here. Okay. Over here, uh, I like Renato to help him with this drill, okay? When he help him this drill, okay, uh, I want to hear when he switch the arms over here to be sure he protect his chest over here. Because for me, in this drill, I want to use the weight over here. I'm going to push him a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to take a chance to get hurt. What happened, that's how he's going to do. He's going to put the arm like this. Now he switch the arm. He's going to put touch the other side. You see how he's doing over here? That's how he helped. What they're gonna do here, when he stretch here, you see my weights come over here. You see this leg over here? First I'm gonna show in slow motion, after this I'm gonna do the drills, I'm gonna show you many ways you can do. I put the weight over here, now look over here. These next legs like you look like you wanna swing here, look. Like close to the ground spots. You see how I sit close to his body over here? Because first I wanna sit, after this I wanna lay down. Remember, when you lay down, you wanna bring the arm cross the angle, a little bit, for his arm to get straight. Now look what they're gonna do. Come back, swing on top again. He's gonna 
set up for the other side. Same way. Wait. You see, I can little by little increase the speed. Remember, not let the arm come this side. Fight for go for the other side. Come back. Mount on top again. But now let me do like a couple times each side. I want you guys to follow, do the drill with me. Come back. I swing him out. Two. Come back. I swing him out. I swing field. Yeah. You know, you want to keep the swing close to the ground. You don't want to go too high. Because the too high is going to create gap. Everything is not give space. You see how my hip go low? Because the swing is going to teach that. You see, I'm weight here. Look the swing. Low to the ground. You see no space for him to pull the arm out. Remember, so you get arm straight. One more, couple more. One more time. One. As soon as you get, stretch the arm. Over here, see? Can control here or here? Thanks, Hannah. That's a very good drill. Practice. Can do in slow motion. You start to feel comfortable. Start to increase the speed. Sometimes you can do it by using time. But let me do it 10 times each side. It go quick. That's a very good drill. It's a good way to warm up. I hope you enjoy this day.